Steve McCarthy, Dual Lock Advisors, good to see you again. The one thing that I've always questioned is when you go and have a shop around for a Dual Lock, so when we go shopping for a Dual Lock, what is it that you're measuring it against and what are you buying? So here's a couple of things I want you to understand. What's the money in? So what are you gonna spend? And what's the money out? And what my point is, it's not a level playing field. So you can pay a lot of money to a builder and actually get less resales than someone else. You can pay a lesser amount for a builder and get higher resales. And just say some of the volume building sausage factory mentality, their resales can be as low as $200,000 less. So you can pay more to them to build it and get $400,000 less. So how do you establish that? And what sort of information do you need? The next thing is, is that when you get to look at, say, buying a block of land for your dual occupancy, here's another formula that you can work with so that you understand not to pay too much for the land and to make sure there's profit in it. So what I want you to do is get the cost of the land plus the stamp duty plus the holding cost and that should be paid back by one resale. On the other side, the differential for the build and just say our turnkey build is between nine and 950. The differential between the build and the other resale is your major profit. And that means that just say for example, if you pay 950,000 for us to do a build for you, including everything, and you sell it for 1.55, you're gonna make $600,000. And you can work down the chart and see what your profit is. But the other side with the acquisition of the land, I give you that part of the formula so you don't pay too much for the land. If you have to, at least you know how much extra you've paid and does the resale on the other side help compensate for that over purchase. So that's one of the major things when you go shopping, but also understand this, that the specification for the dollar spent is one side of the equation, but then how much are the resales? And you've got to be careful that you don't see it as a level playing field, because I can tell you now, that there are wide variances in our industry for people selling product to you and then what the resales become at the end. And then if you pay 100,000 more than we're going to charge you, but get $400,000 less because it's a sausage factory outcome and not a custom design and build, you're 500,000 less than was possible. So have the discussion with, with us and understand what we're trying to achieve. Thank you.